The speed at Tesla Giga Berlin is mind blowing. There are two updates today from Tesla Giga Berlin, friends. The roof insulation goes in. It was only a few days ago that we talked about the first roofs being almost completed at Tesla Giga Berlin and now roof insulation. And second one is casting footings for new buildings began. Two mind-blowing speedy events at Tesla Giga Berlin. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel. If you would like to receive daily Tesla news updates, look at our channel, see how many news we have every day from Tesla and electric cars. And also please uh, ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. Uh, Eva Fox reports uh, from Tesla, uh, from the Tesla Giga Berlin, from Tesmanian.com, based on the photos from our friend Tobias Lind. Eva reports that the popularity of Tesla Model Y continues to grow, and Europeans are looking forward to ordering their own Tesla Model Y electric crossover. This will be possible when the construction of the Phase One of Tesla Giga Berlin is completed assessing the progress that the team of Tesla has made in Grünheide, it can be assumed that the first Model Y made in Germany, Tesla Model Y made in Germany, will roll off the assembly line ahead of the schedule. Now, the schedule is sometimes mid-2021, but I think it will be either spring 2021 or early January, February 2021, considering how things, how fast things are progressing at Giga Berlin, Giga Factory. Now, for perspective, here is a plan of the various buildings that will make up the Giga Berlin. It's the press shop, casting uh, body shop, paint shop, seat production, production drive, drive unit, uh, final assembly, west, uh, wastewater treatment, uh, substation, energy center, fire department, waste and hazardous material storage, hazmat, and inbound outbound logistics and railroad. Like we talked about total 14 buildings that will make Tesla Giga Berlin and things are going at mind blowing speed. The most active building building under construction at Tesla Giga Berlin is the drive unit in the north south and now the east walls are almost complete of the drive unit the roof is already fully covered at the drive unit and is now being insulated um, as you can see in the pictures provided by our friends uh, uh, Tobias Lind. Construction of the paint shop continues. Now there are more walls. The roof um, covering at the paint shop continues and we can see that it's almost done. The building is approaching completion at the paint shop. In one part of the building it seems there will be three floors, while in other section there are no visible floors at the paint shop. I don't know why is this, but if any one of you is familiar with uh, construction of large uh, factories or especially um, uh, automotive industry or you know factories that builds cars, please let us know why is it that some areas may have three uh, floors and other areas don't. Maybe those are just offices. I don't know. Now in this part at the paint shop. Uh, in this part of the building, we do not see um, fasteners to install uh, install floors. Um, the body in white building continues to go up at a very quick pace. A frame has already been installed under most of the building. The work is also ongoing on the roof and we can see that part of it has already been installed. Uh, a notable observation is that the installation of walls has begun on the building. The reason walls are being installed so quickly is because as we have reported below at uh, before at Torque News and if uh, Tesla is using prefabricated materials, prefabricated walls to bring and quickly assemble the Giga Berlin uh, facility, the buildings and if you remember Elon Musk also shared that tweet for which we're very thankful. Uh, so special attention is paid to the construction of the press shop. Tesla recently changed the, the construction plan for this building, if you remember. 
Previously, both buildings had plans that included solid piles that reached the groundwater table. In response to concerns from environmentalists and local population, local communities, Tesla has shown some very nice flexibility, appreciable flexibility, revising the construction plan of the press shop at Giga Berlin. Instead of 1,100 previously required uh, piles, only 500 to 550 piles will be used. At the moment, several hundred piles have already been installed and the construction process continues. Imagine several hundred piles only within a week because it was just beginning of last week that we talked about the piles and the uh, reduction of from 1,100 piles to 550 piles. At what speed Max Bogel and Articon companies are doing this work is simply mind-blowing and amazing. Now, the installation of pillars for the General Assembly section has also began. At the moment, it is proceeding at a relatively slow pace. Perhaps the slowness is due to the fact that the installation of robots for assembly is much faster than installing equipment in other buildings so we will probably know about this much more soon and at this stage of construction solid activity has become evident in the area of the casting building you can see that the installation of foodings has already begun at the casting unit at giga berlin the reinforcement frame is filled with cement which is produced directly on site at Giga Berlin and the area for the hazmat hazardous material construction also looks to be fully prepped the surface of the ground is leveled and covered with gravel which means that fooding installation will start soon the region's politicians in brandenburg are also happy with the way tesla works mayor of grünheide arne christiani expressed his satisfaction with the cooperation with the company tesla people have very clear guidelines and goals he said brandenburg prime minister dietmar wortke also is also pleased with Tesla's progress and expects the plant to start production of vehicles by summer 2021. In fact, Grünheide's uh, uh, mayor Arne, Christi Arne Christiani also uh, today gave an interview to a German publication, um, uh, one of the German publications, Hausblatt, I believe, and uh, I will soon report the summary of that interview. He reveals some interesting things about how the Grünheide was announced, whether he knew about it or not. So keep an eye on torquenews.com because in the next report will be about that. And uh, I'll see you, uh, friends, in our next report but before i let you go in the meantime today elon musk's plane landed in germany not too far from tubingen we expect him to arrive at tesla giga berlin site in grünheide either tomorrow or next day but surely he said it will be this week so please keep an eye on our website on our torquenews.com as well as torquenews youtube channel if you would like to see the details because thanks to our local friends we are going to be able to bring the information images and videos from uh, tesla giga berlin uh, uh, to, to our Torque News YouTube channel subscribers and viewers. In the meantime, this is Armin Harayan from TorqueNews.com. Friends, have a wonderful rest of the day, whether it's evening or morning where, where you are. And uh, uh, God bless you. See you soon. And uh, peace be with all of you.